In this video, we got a top tier money play for y'all, and it's also going to go along with a nice little scheme out of the gun split twins. Uh, the play we're going to be rocking with that's the money play is the post HB corner, which is just a good play overall. Let's go ahead and jump into the audibles. You're going to want PAF slide. You're going to want the inside zone split, then the money play, and then also the play Texas. We're going to have a little bit of something for everything, zone coverage, man coverage, and then the money play to just bomb everything over the top. So let's jump to the practice field and show y'all how we set these plays up. All right, the first play we're going to be talking about is going to be the money play post HB corner. Now, you can also do this money play with the, uh, the play PAF slide because all it requires is that inside post route. Really just depends on which check downs you like with the running backs. Like if you like this, you can stay with this. But I do like the route with the running back Y out of the post HB corner. So let's go ahead and show you how we set this up. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to put X on a comeback route before you motion them over. Very important because when you motion them over, you won't be able to put them on a comeback route. Because where he's going to land, he's going to land like damn near right next to the tight end. And that's just not a, a route that's available at that spot. So come back route before you motion him over. Tight end on a fade, not a streak. I'm going to show you the difference. This is what the fade looks like. If we put him on a streak, you can see he goes out a little bit and then up. We don't want that. It takes a little too long to develop. So make sure you put the tight end on a fade. And then the two running backs, you're more than welcome to do whatever route combo you want. But I like the ones that are actually the default ones because I like the the delay curl route and then i like the the wide running back because that destroys man coverage but the go-to is going to be to the post route for the money play downfield you don't have to get out the pocket but y'all already know if i can get out i'm going to get out and then you can see how everything works the comeback route drops the corner the tight end streak takes away the safety the same way you beat cover three is the same way you're going to be cover four and cover two all right, real quick, I just want to show y'all a play that just completely bombs cover three and cover one. The middle safety plays the same in those two defenses. It's going to be the play PAL slide. And you can see we actually flip the play to where the wide receivers are on the, the wide side of the field. That is a must for this to work against cover three and cover one. And it's actually a quick play. So like if you know they're in cover three, cover one, you don't run the way we just set up that money play, but run it like this. You're going to motion over the outside wide receiver and you're going to put Y on a streak. Now, you you can beat cover three regardless of your running back, but to beat cover one, you, need, you do need a running back that has a mismatch with the speed on whoever's guarding them. Uh, but you're going to see what I'm talking about right here. The safety like kind of favors that B receiver and just leaves the middle of the field wide open. And you can easily turn this into a one-play touchdown if you got the right personnel on the field. All right, the next, all right, the next play we want to talk about is going to be the play Texas. This is for your man demons. Every route literally will beat man coverage, even that little inside streak by the tight end if you have the right personnel. And if it's not a cover one, it'll beat cover two, man. Uh, but you got the C route, you got the Zig route, and you got the Texas route. All three of those routes will beat man coverage, and you can even make this work even that much better by putting the running back on an in route like this. But just to show you, it's real simple. Don't overthink man coverage. Look for the Zig route. Look for the Texas route. Look for the in route by your tight end, and then also the C route. Um, just a simple play. I mean, you can even get a little bit more complicated. You could put X on a streak and you can go ahead and motion snap them to make it look like the money play. So you got a little slant coming across the field. You still got your zig route. It did not let me snap it in time, but you see what I'm talking about. So you have X on a, a little slant route like that can just easily beat man coverage. Different things you can do. Perfect play for man coverage. And don't forget your crow routes and your wheel routes against man coverage. All right, the next play we're going to talk about is going to be the inside split. That's going to be the run play, and we're going to make it look just like the money play. Now, this is a top-tier run play because you can run it either way to the left or to the right. Watch what happens. I'm going to motion my outside wide receiver just like we would the money play about between the left tackle and the left guard if it's flipped between the right tackle and the right guard. And you can see our tight end blocks to the left. He's going to block to the right, so it's going to give me two different options on which way I want to go. Let me show you what this looks like right here. And it's look, hey, like he shoots out all the way to the right. I could go to the right. And then my tight end shout out to the left. So that's what makes it an OP run play to mix along with this uh, little scheme with the money play we got going on. From here, we're going to jump into some gameplay. Uh, whatever team I end up using at the end of the video, we're going to show you how we set up that depth chart so we can kind of knock out two birds with one stone. I know a lot of y'all are asking me to do gameplay with this, this team and that team. So that's what we're going to do. Get y'all some gameplay with this little scheme and then show y'all the depth chart for the defense side and all that good stuff. So let's jump into that gameplay. All right, game one, we got the Titans. I'm going to be using the Lions for this gameplay for this video. Um, I do remember somebody asking for me to use the Lions. I know we got a few teams I got to use. Um, we're going to be running the dime setup still. Trying to, I'm still trying to get familiar with it. I've been liking it so far. Uh, it's been working for me. See you. 
And then um, I'll show y'all at the end of the video my depth chart and all that and how I got all my DB set up. Probably a way you would not expect with the Lions at all because there is some overalls in there that are... Uh, okay, that's on me. 100% my fault. But there's some... Um, what you call it? There's some DBs in the starting lineup that you would not expect and it's because of their overall. But again, trust the process. Obviously, we just got bombed on right there. Uh, but that's something we, we will look out for. All right, so we are in the Titans offense, if anybody was wondering. Uh, kind of funny because we are playing the Titans. All right, let's try that again. Come back route before you motion them over. My mistake. Um, and I, I don't... Keep, if you if you use the lines, look at my, my O-line. I moved the center to left tackle so I could have two superstar abilities on my left tackle and right tackle position. And because they're the two best, that is something I do when I have a team that has two really good O-line, but they're not left tackle or right tackle. Um, like the Eagles is one of them. The Cowboys is one of them. Let's see if we can get this money play going for y'all. Just another little tip to throw at y'all. Oh, yeah, and he swerved inside. Come on, get there. Hold it. I'll take it. Get some yards. Get some yards. I didn't show y'all this setup. Uh, but it's basically going to be a streak corner setup with the running back coming out the backfield. And we're going to go ahead and put our tight end on a smart routed in route. He might try to guard it because he is playing. It looks like he moved his user over there. We're there. Nice bullet. I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on. Come on. But that is another thing you could do to set up that play. I know we didn't talk about it in practice. This is why we do the in-game breakdowns, so you can get a little bit of extra tips here and there. Uh, but that's basically your um, street corner flat setup. Get this run play going right here. I'm going to try to follow the tight end this time. Oh, the tight end blocked the wrong guy. If you would have blocked the linebacker that made the initial contact, that's money right there. See what happens right here, though. We might take this to the right. Jurdle. Jurdle is your best friend when you're in this area. If you're if you're ever getting, you know, they got a good angle like that towards you on the sideline, always hit that jurdle to the inside. Real easy to do. You're just going to hold, press Y, and then with the left stick towards the way you want to go. All right, we're back on defense. Let's see if we can make up for that mistake we made. Um, If he's going to attack the safety like that, we most likely will use her, the sub linebacker. Uh, you know what? We might... Oh no, come on, move over. Don't don't quick snap me. I'll use her uh gardener. I'm gonna use her gardener. First read is gonna be this inside guy in the tight end. Running back. You can have that. Got him out of that formation. This is where it gets dangerous because I can You know what I might We're there, we're there, we're there. No, don't throw that. I c low key pass interference. But hey, ref didn't see it, I didn't see it. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing I can do about that. I wasn't ready. I don't know why he went for that dive like that. He should have just took that straight up. Come on, make that tackle. Go line stands. Let's go. Line down. You look good. We're there. We're there. That tight end is locked. Let's go. What you going to do? Where it gets tough. I wasn't ready. Come on, make that tackle. Let's go. Stop him. Let's go. Just like that. That 3 4 will let you know in the red zone like that. Oh, and just like that. On to the next. All right, we're on to game two. Y'all seen the last guy quit. Um, I did pick the wrong defense. I mean, I'm still going to have my dollar 3 2, but I'm not going to have the dime. That was a mistake. We are in now in the 46. Um, I wasn't thinking, honestly. But that's all right. We can still run the, the same co cover four hybrid. Only downfall is I don't have my three, four defense that I run in the red zone. Go to work. Good, good. I don't know why, but when you're when people do play action at a single back, your quarterback contains go crazy. Like they break off so easy. Um, I actually checked that that uh. The Titans user, because uh, he was throwing some pretty good dots. He was like understanding the coverage. He was actually ranked 137. Not bad. I'm there. 
Yes, sir. That's too easy of alert. Let me get back a little bit. I think I can run the money play from the 40. Possibly. I believe I can. All right, and that's fine. Even if we're doing it the same brown, just to show y'all, it doesn't require speed to get this done. Um, again, come back route first and then motion over. And we're going to actually cross the running backs. I'm going to go for St. Brown here. Might be a cover two. I think if it's cover two, I think we got this in the bag. Yeah. Right underneath the tight end. That's perfect. That's perfect. Would have Could have got the touchdown if I waited a little longer, but I'm not mad at that. Now we're going to run the inside zone. I actually want to flip this. Um, I'm going to double team this guy right here because I am I think I'm going to kick this to the left. Yeah, I think I'm going to kick it to the left. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Get in there. We're actually going to put the full back on the street too. It looks like he's guard. He's gonna be guarding that side. No, I think we're gonna have it. Might have it. No, nope. don't have it. Terrible throw by me. That's all good. We make mistakes. Got to get the ball back. We got to get the ball back. Go for that strip. You see me going for the strip? And you know? right up the middle. Crazy pressure. That's just because you have Josh Allen. That's the only reason you got that pass off. It'd be the one size. My job to kick it. If he kicks it to the left. Oh, not see, and I over baited that. Like, I that was the goal to try to bait that tight end. I thought I had the speed to get there. We got a night, he is five foot eight, that does play a factor. Uh, but we over baited it. I was trying to get the bait on that. You know what? Let's run a play like this. We're gonna run a double corner or a post corner, run something like this. Let's just we're, we're just coming up with something now. Might hit the, the tight end right here, wide open. I'll take it, make it simple. Tight end journals are dangerous. Like you can you can create some separation like crazy. There's like a specific actual like big boy journal, like where they do like a hop step from one side to the other. It's crazy. Let's let's keep RB on the route he's on, and then we're also gonna put the Y running back on the end route like this. The fact that he's not blitzing off the edge is really like giving me time to get these plays off. Go for the running back. There it is. That touchdowns hold on to it that got that deep that deep out ko or deep zone ko man he's got the perfect setup right now Let's see what we got going on right here there it is that cutback good blocks that time but a tight end that's what we've been wanting we're taking that we're taking that we're taking that oh my god come on there's no way in hell he should be keeping up with them like that no way He's going to try to go to uh, Diggs. I guarantee you. There's no way. Oh, my God. I understand why people hate playing the Bills. I like this. I like this. I'm not mad at this. I'm going to try to go to tight end street. Crossing. Settle down. That's me. Give me that. 25 yards. I'll take it. I do something slick right there. Still got plenty of yards to do the money play right here. I think we're gonna go for it. But we got the post in the middle. I, I tried to use her that. I tried to use her that. All right, like this is when you're losing to somebody because their team is just that much better than yours. Like, don't get me wrong, the Lions are OP, but this defense is playing like dogs right now for them. Uh, let me get the other guy. Come on, you ain't ready. All right, we're ready. Go ahead, call Hut. I'm ready. Perfect setup. Let's go. Nowhere to throw. That's a fumble. Let's go. I'll take it. We're going to do the double out. Or, yeah, the double out play. I'm going to run a zig. Zig. Last time we had Y open right here. We're going to do something simple like this. Let's get RB out the picture. I'm actually not mad at that tight end route right there. Keep it simple. Right there. Let's go. I'll take it. Double out route. Cash. He can definitely get downfield. Oh, you know what? We are in man setup. What what happened there? And he messed up. And he messed up. He had a touchdown. And he messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're taking it. I don't know what happened to my defense. I think because I was based and I switched to... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was man-aligned and I tried to switch it to base. My cornerback dumbed out. Oh, my God. When, when you... Hey, sometimes Madden is on my side. 
I know he probably he probably pressed pressed the wrong button right there. I know he's hot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to hit him with the money play again. Um, I don't know if this is man coverage or not. If it is, we can also hit the comeback route, which I always forget about. Um, it's like the most slept on route because the way they flipped. I think this is zone. Um, let's go ahead and put our running back on the end route. Give us something extra over there. Got time to get this play off. Get some good blocks on the edge. We got it. I think that's touchdowns. I think that's touchdowns right there. There's no way you're keeping up with this man speed wise. There's no way. Come on, get that. Oh, <laughs> that photo finish right there. I don't think I'm going to play though. The linebacker. Let the safety do his thing. We're there. Give me that. I'll take it. Might get another quitter right here. Good defense. Good defense. I told you we got to lock in. We can't just let things slide. We're going to go ahead. And. If this is man coverage, I don't know if I'll be able to do it at the tight end out the backfield. If it is man coverage, we're going to hit the crow route with the tight end. It's not. We got the zone. Yep, we got it. Nice little pocket. Good little setup for zone coverage. Um, But you see how we also did put zone or uh, routes out there for man coverage. And there it is. On to the next. Um, But from here, we're going to jump into the depth chart and show y'all uh where i got my dbs again you got to trust the process if you don't agree you don't got to set it up the way i do this is just my go-to um how i have the lions and but this is specifically for my uh dollar dollar three two and then the dime defense where's the lions at okay and then let me show you again my lineman so this is the center i put him at left tackle and then i just put the left tackle at center and then obviously you got the right tackle superstar so you got two superstar abilities to block for you on the edge and then let's go to the dbs i know 69 overall six foot 190 speed that's all i need six foot 91 speed and then um these are the guys playing my curl hooks six foot one not bad speed and they're both safety so they can help on the run too six foot three this guy's actually a really good user um but they do have other good users that are a little bit better than them Cornerback. This is the guy that I thought I was going to be able to, to uh, bait that tight end with, but not enough speed. 93 speed, though, not bad. And then um, this guy's actually pretty good, 91 speed. He's got some pretty good change of direction, too. Solid, solid user. Um, and then, again, just to show you the slots and the subs, these are the guys playing my curl flats, that the, the purple zones. Um, the fact that their safeties works that much better because, again, like I said, they can help with the run. And then our subs are CJ and then Brian Branch. Uh, these are pretty good users. These are the guys that are playing the middle linebacker position uh, slash sub linebacker position. But that's basically it for the video. Uh, got to see the money play work. Got to see a couple of the other plays work and how we set it up. And then you got the, the depth chart. But that's going to be it for this video.